Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Carla Kite and I am a CDLP, otherwise known as a Certified Divorce Lending Professional. I love to help both couples because I can be most effective when I can work with both of the parties that are trying to remain in homeownership post-decree. So today we're going to talk about paying bills in lieu of maintenance. Like after a divorce, maybe instead of taking that full maintenance payment or that full child support payment, you have your ex-spouse instead maybe cover some of the bills monthly. Okay, so let's dive in. I'll be posting a new video every Tuesday and Thursday and we'll go over everything that you need to know about divorce and homeownership. And remember, I am most effective early, early on in the process and I will be there with you throughout the entire process all the way to the end. Often people don't reach out to me until their divorce is final. And that's okay, I can still help. I can help at any point in the process. I'm just most effective from beginning all the way to the end. So while I do all types of residential lending, I carry a special certification in divorce lending. And what I really do is I help people with their divorce planning. I wanna say that again, because I want you to really hear that. I help people with their divorce planning. So what that means is that we're helping you to structure your divorce, not just your loan. Please give me a call or text me at this number that's popping up below and I'm happy to schedule an appointment with you as soon as possible so that we can go over your unique situation. I've helped over a thousand families with their home ownership goals in the last five years and I have to tell you experience really matters when we're dealing with divorcing couples. I also want to give the disclaimer that while I can't give legal advice, I will talk about some legal concepts um, in and around the divorcing area. I do want you to remember that I am a licensed loan officer and I'm here to help you with all of your lending needs. Not all lenders are the same and you guys can't do your loan yourself. So you really need to reach out to somebody that specializes in divorce and can help you in the best way possible. Okay, so let's dive in. So often, and really I find that this happens most often in really amicable situations. So what tends to happen is like maybe you'll leave a joint account open because you have children and it's just easier to funnel funds um, through that joint account when you're paying for, you know, like sports or if you're paying for daycare or maybe you're paying for private school. So I've had several situations where um, the ex-spouse is making those um, payments or paying those bills in lieu of just paying the support. And I get it, like it makes sense that you you're just moving money from one place to another, but unfortunately, that's not how underwriting looks at it. So if you know for a fact that you need to show maintenance or child support to help you to qualify for a future home loan, you have to make sure that you're receiving it the, the right way that underwriters will allow us to use it in your debt to income and your ratios for underwriting. So. Here's some cases I wanna talk about. I've had this happen in, in several different cases I've worked on. So in my most recent case, um, I had a, a family that was very amicable again. They kept the joint account open and they were waiting to really separate things until they sold the marital home. The problem is, is that at the time that they sold the marital home, the intention was for her to go on and purchase a new home and she wanted to take out a loan. She did want to put down a large down payment, but she wanted to take out a loan so that she wasn't draining all of her cash into this new home. So the problem is, is that they were divorced eight months ago and she was supposed to be getting paid maintenance this whole time, but in lieu of those maintenance payments, he was just depositing money into their joint account and all of the bills were being paid out of that account. So unfortunately, her income was not enough to qualify for much of a loan at all. And so when they sold the house yesterday, um, she now has a nice pile of cash, but today she has to purchase her new home all in cash and it's leaving her literally with about $5,000 in her account. What she wants to do is take out a loan for about three or 400,000 and so what we've had to do is now implement those maintenance payments that were supposed to be paid eight months ago. Once we have six months of proof that those have been paid to her, from him to her, into separate accounts, not joint accounts, 
then we'll go in and we'll do a refinance. So she is gonna have to go for about six months um, of not having cash. Um, but ideally, had she known this in the beginning, they would have handled that a little bit differently. So you just need to make sure that, especially if you're working with a lender and the lender is telling you that they can qualify you based on the amount that you're going to receive in child support or maintenance, you have to make sure that we can actually use that child support or maintenance. Often I'll have somebody that they're receiving a really large sum of maintenance every month, like $15,000 a month, but maybe it's not continuing long enough for us to be able to use it. So it's really, really important that you have these discussions early on with a certified divorce lending professional so that we can make sure that you're handling these payments properly so that they can be used for approval in a loan down the road. And remember, we have to show proof. We have to show proof that these payments were paid from the person that's supposed to be paying you and that you receive them on time monthly, okay? So it doesn't necessarily have to be like the exact date, like the fifth of every month, but it can't be like on the fifth one month and the 25th the next month. That's just not consistent. So underwriting wants to see that payments are made on time monthly for us to be able to use them for your income. So I'll say it again, the key to a successful divorce and succeeding in home ownership after the divorce is a really, really early consultation with a certified divorce lending professional. Once we've met and we've had a consultation and we've done your application so that we know what the loan type is that you qualify for, we'll stay in touch throughout your entire divorce process, which sometimes can take a few years, unfortunately. It's important for divorcing homeowners to know that one, what they're agreeing to, they can actually accomplish, and two, that they can accomplish it at the best rate and terms possible that are available to them in the marketplace today. You know, I wanna say this, there are a lot of different loans out there. We can do a lot of funky stuff, but the rates are much higher. The terms are just not really acceptable. We as CDLPs wanna get you into that best loan term possible. I know that many of you that have been watching this, you've spent a lot of nights going through this, staying awake at night, trying to figure all of this out on your own. You're probably getting advice from your family or your friends or your coworkers, or God forbid, some social media site where you're probably gonna get 50 or 60 comments if you, if you put something in there, if you pose a question to them. Please make sure that the advice that you're getting and that you're really taking to heart is from a professional that works in the divorce space because trust me, every single divorce is unique and it has its own situation that needs to be addressed separately. It is never too early for you to give me a call and consult with me, but sometimes it can be too late. Sometimes you have to go back and get a modification done to your separation agreement. What I hear the most from my clients after I talk to them is, oh, I am so relieved, or I wish I would have talked to you sooner. I've spent so much time trying to figure this out on my own. Nobody has ever told me any of this. I really appreciate this conversation. If you don't know where to start, start with me. I have some amazing resources and I am happy to share them all with you. And just as a reminder, I am a licensed mortgage lender. I just carry this special certification in divorce, but I'm happy to help you with any of your mortgage needs. Please reach out to this phone number again, it's popping up below. Um, you can reach out in a text or a phone call and my team will get a phone call set up with me at the earliest time and try to accommodate the times that work for you. I look forward to sharing with you all again really soon.